What's good Hilux fans? It's been five years since I rolled my car and I am determined to get this thing back on the road. So like, subscribe and hopefully in the end we'll go sideways again together. Hilux fans, I'm back in the shed doing another build video. No more full driving, I promise. I can't promise. But this is definitely a shed video. So what we're doing today is figuring out what differential I've got in here because I can't remember what diff ratio is in here. I can remember that 100 kilometers per hour down the freeway is about the comfortable limit of the setup. So I've got a, a fairly strong suspicion that I changed the diff ratio. Definitely remember talking about wanting to change the diff ratio a lot and with that memory of doing 100 down the freeway and it revving, revving its tits out, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've changed it. So we'll, we'll get into it, let's, let's get ready. I'll show you what you need to do and you can do this at home if you're unsure what diff ratios are in your vehicle. Right, so the first thing you want to do is mark the top of your tire. You can do this on the vehicle. I've obviously got the tires and diff off the vehicle at the moment. So the easiest way to do it, just put a bit of tape on your tire. Then you've got to crawl under your car, or in this case, just move over here and mark the top or bottom or side, whatever suits your fancy, mark one point of this flange so that you can count how many times this goes around in relation to how many times this goes around. Like now, this, we've got a tire side and we need to count 10 spins of the tire and each time the tire spins around, we've got to count the number of spins that flange does. So let's do one, you ready? Keep an eye on both. Okay, we've got the blue thing at top on both. Here we go, one spin. All right, and you see the other side's already done a spin. So before you score that first one, before you draw that on there, you've already drawn that on there. And we're gonna go, keep going. It's gone around again. This hasn't gone around yet. So before that, we haven't drawn that yet. We've drawn another one here. And eventually, you'll score this one because it'll go around a complete rotation. There it is. And by then, we've probably got a number of runs up here. Anyways, you gotta keep playing this game until you get to number 10. And however many you've got here is gonna uh, allow, allow you to do your diff ratio calculation. Now, I'm doing it with a closed diff. So uh, I got 43 with an open diff. It'll be a lower number. Um, it'll be 21.5, half as much. What you need to do if you're in that situation, it's times by two, that brings it back to 43. Okay, and now your diff ratio, diff ratio equals this number or this number divided by 10. So, oh, 4.3, well fuck me. That's what they came out with. That is surprising because um, I swore that I changed that 